Good evening, City of Shawnee. This is Doug Donahue, Communications Director, bringing you the wrap-up of the City Council meeting from this Monday, August 26th, 2024. Business from the floor this evening ran from 6.03 to 6.05 p.m., and the evening opened with a proclamation from Mayor Mickey Sandifer honoring Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and the McKenna Clare Foundation. The council held a public hearing surrounding the revenue neutral rate and the city's intent to exceed the established revenue neutral rate of 21.609 mills for the fiscal year 2025 budget. There was one public commenter related to the revenue neutral rate and on a roll call vote, the council voted unanimous, unanimously to exceed that revenue neutral rate. The council then held a public hearing on the 2025 budget with a review of budget highlights from city manager Paul Kramer, including a flat mill levy from the 2024 budget. There was one public commenter from the floor during the public budget hearing. After conversation, the council first voted on a motion from council member Gillette, who proposed a half mill reduction to the 2025 budget that failed on a five to four vote with Mayor Sandifer casting the tie-breaking vote. Then council member Knappen motioned to pass the 2025 budget as established, which passed with a six to two vote. The council conducted a public hearing on a fire damaged building at 11404 West 73rd Street in Shawnee, which is undergoing repairs after a fire in June of last year. The staff recommended council vote to allow repairs to be finished and make the home habitable once again. The council voted unanimously to give the owners 90 days to bring the home into compliance with city code. We also let the council know about upcoming changes to the Tidy Town Voucher Program. Be on the lookout for Tidy Town Vouchers to now be delivered on the spring issue of All Things Hometown. We'll have additional information for you as that program gets underway. The council approved staff to move forward with bidding on the Johnson Drive and Mauer Road intersection site distance improvement projects on a unanimous vote. And during the council committee meeting, Fire Chief Rick Potter presented the potential benefits of the Shawnee Fire Department move, providing advanced life support response on 911 calls. This would be a multi-year process for the department to embark on with the goal of having every station have at least one paramedic on duty with every shift. Shawnee City offices will be closed on Monday, September 2nd in observance of Labor Day, and this is the final weekend to cool off at the Thomas A. Stewart Aquatic Center. City Council will be back in session on Monday, September 9th at 6 p.m. here at City Hall. Of course, you can find agendas and full archives of minutes on our website, cityofshawnee.org.